Right, hello once again YouTube, Andy with you with another little video. So, um, my day started off this morning fairly early. Had a bit of a problem with the, the rear patio door. It wasn't closing and locking properly. Uh, fortunately, uh, I got this sorted by taking it all off and spraying some magic spray on the mechanism, putting it back together, and it all worked out fine. Uh, later on that day, I um, took my drone out for a bit of a test flight and um, well, we'll just pick it up from there and uh, let's just see how we got on. Uh, today, uh, we're going to be doing the test flight of my Hubson Mini Pro drone. Uh, we're out at um, this place here. National Trust is called the Coles Hill Cuckoo Pen Plantation. Uh, not sure there's going to be any cuckoos here, but who knows. So I'll just keep the camera running for a little while just to give you a, a bit of an idea. Um, I don't think this is a very big kind of a plantation or a, a big wood. I think it's just a small wood not too far from Badbury Clump where the uh, incident happened um, uh, a week or so ago now. The repair which my brother did uh, the other day was very good. Uh, unfortunately, when I try to close it up uh, as by doing kind of this uh, it didn't it didn't fully close uh, properly um, obviously it needs to be closed properly to get it into my my bag my hubson bag because the hubson bag is very very crammy as I did say in a previous video so what I then tried to do I tried to force it and then unfortunately um, it snapped this could very well be the stupidest person on the face of the earth. So I'm uh, going to now put the drone up and uh, give it a bit of a test flight. You can see here it's on a bit of string. Uh, that's to stop it from going uh, away, let's say, if I do get some kind of a flyaway incident. Film mode. So some vibration coming from that arm there. For some reason. I can hear it's making a bit of a noise. Okay, so we're just going to take the drone up uh, and away, um, just to spin it around and give you a bit of an idea of what this wood looks like from above. It was acting a little bit strange, um, rather glitchy, and uh, I was no more than perhaps 150 meters away from the drone. It was acting a little bit strange on the RC unit to uh, to the drone, so I didn't take it too far away from my home point which is just to the right hand side just kind of going past me now um, so I wasn't uh, entirely happy with uh, this particular flight so I didn't take it too far okay so we've got an aircraft disconnect um, it's basically just over there, just uh, above the trees, pretty much. I'm going to return it to home, see what happens. Um, nothing's happening. 
aircraft not connected. Houston, we have a problem. Okay, so I'm getting absolutely nothing now. The same issue I had in Madeira, now this is concerning. I've got um, no signal, I'm getting absolutely nothing back from the drone whatsoever. It's now kind of hovering pretty much uh, over, over the woods and I'm getting uh, nothing at all. I'm gonna turn everything off and hopefully it will reconnect that way. Uh, let's turn the app off. Right, we're turning everything back on again. I'm uh, gonna try and re-establish uh, some kind of a connection with the drone. on the uh, RC unit uh, uh, what's worrying is that I can't I can no longer hear the drone uh, to me that uh, spells disaster especially when you're hovering over um, quite a dense wood um, so as everything switched on I'm getting uh, no signal from the drone itself Nothing audible either. Trying to re-establish connection with the drone. Uh, just not happening. I'm getting closer and closer uh, to the drone's last uh, kind of known location. And I'm getting absolutely nothing from the readings on my phone or the RC unit telling me that the drone's been rediscovered. And I can't hear it and I should be fairly close to it as well now if the drone has come down it's come down right at the top of the canopy of the wood and if that's the case when these things drop in in trees they generally stay there I'm getting no reading at all um, so I think the worst case scenario is that the drone has now dropped perhaps somehow uh, into the trees because I'm getting absolutely no signal whatsoever. This drone should have returned to home as soon as you lose connection and I was barely 50 meters away from it. Right, so we're gonna go into the app now and try and find lost drone, flight log, looking for aircraft. Uh, so, so we literally lost time, it says zero minutes ago, I don't believe that for a start because I've been looking for it for about three or four by now, so I'm moving kind of closer to where the, where the drone ought to be, and just keep walking in this direction. Hello there. I don't suppose you found a drone anywhere, did you? <laughs> you heard one go by a few minutes ago. Yeah, I've lost connection with it. It came, if it helps, from that direction. It definitely went that way. Yes. Okay, thanks for that. Okay. Right. All one can do is hoping that it somehow made it into some sort of a clearing uh, because I'm definitely getting closer to it. Just to expand the screen up a little bit, if it allows me. Yep. So I need to perhaps go over in that direction over there slightly. is very much like um, looking for a needle in a haystack uh, pretty much worst case scenario uh, has now happened okay right so according to this um, it should be within the, within the couple of meters where I'm standing 
but saying that this here is not 100% accurate uh, to get a real good accurate reading I'll probably have to go home and uh, hook up to Wi-Fi because I'm not using data at the moment hook up to Wi-Fi then it would probably tell me uh, the exact location of where the drone actually resides and I'm fearing if it indeed is in this wood somewhere uh, which it probably is I don't think it's on the ground anywhere I think it's on the it's on the in the trees um, ah, look what I just found well I think that's completely buggered now <laughs> that's completely buggered now I mean all I can probably do from that now is look you got one broken arm two broken arms the gimbal is absolutely knackered um, oh that arm's pretty okay I think that one there actually the one which was glued the one which was glued actually has turned out to be okay so it's probably impacted on this side of the drone and it's come down and uh, I've lost the prop there by the look of it the thing is I, I, I don't understand I don't understand why it would have dropped because um, I didn't drop it with with my controller that's what I can't work out ah, yeah so yeah sorry about that um, that uh, was very unfortunate and very unexpected uh, but it did have kind of a well it did something uh, a bit untoward let's say but I'm just kind of glad that I, I found it uh, that it uh, didn't fly off somewhere and cause untold amounts of damage to someone's property or someone's car the thing is once you've um, once you've had a drone um, and you know what kind of footage you get you know how you know it can benefit the video although that being said since I ha I've had my drone I would say that um, my subs have not really increased that much and I suppose my viewership uh, per video has probably stayed about the same if not diminished uh, since having a drone but I do think they act, you know they, they do add something to a video and once you've had a drone you know it's kind of no real real going back you know to just having two cameras having this camera here and the one on here as well you know having the drone certainly does add uh, to I think to the channel and to a video hopefully I can download uh, the footage uh, from the, uh, the, uh, the stricken drone let's say all I need to do is to plug it in and then uh, it'll hopefully talk to my PC that I can download some some files to it so all that kind of hard work I put into my drone fixing it up and whatever else you know doing to it uh, it's turned out that uh, it's come to absolutely nothing <laughs> once again you know yes I could get it fixed I suppose but one I don't know how to fix it I don't know who to send it to and uh, getting parts for it is probably very very difficult because I did go on eBay to try and find replacement arm for it and I just simply could not find any hubs and parts plenty of DJI mind which is good because I might need some of those in the future but for Hubson yeah nothing at all nothing at all There we go, another one bites the dust. Right, so I think it's come to uh, that time of the video now. 
I think I'm going to cut the video short here. Sorry about the ending. Uh, it's not as uh, as planned. Uh, <laughs> but this is real life. And this was just one of those days where things unfortunately just did not work out for the best. Anyway, that being said, uh, thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, see you on the next one. I'm not sure what I'm going to do on that one now because I haven't got a drone. <laughs> but I might have, who knows. Anyway, take care. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.